I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see, dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Come back soon.
Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering, for in the division we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Adam in his glory. I urge you, my friend, come, drink with me and pray. Glorious Adam, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. I beg of you to use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Adam. Sav. Nothing. We'll talk later. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. a bit under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine, but I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when you get back, regardless of the results. While you're away, I can at least search through my junk and see if there's anything that'll go with old food to make it more appetizing. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? See ya!